Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can calculate age in Excel. And so there are a lot of different date functions that you can use if you want to calculate the difference between two dates. And so I'm going to go over a number of them with you. I'm going to start with the easiest one, and that is the year frac function. And so this will give you the difference in fractional years. So Suppose I wanted to start with January 1, 2000 and have an end date of Christmas of 2022. Now, if you've got different regional settings than mine, mine are set up for month, day, year, you may need to enter this a little bit differently. You could also just reference a cell that has uh, your start and end dates and then plug them into this formula. So if I hit enter, it returns a value of 22.98, obviously the 0.98 representing the fact that December 25th is near the end of the year. If I were to change this to, let's say, January 31st, 2022, then the fraction changes, changes to 22.08 years. So if you just want a simple calculation to, say, show a person's years or the difference between dates in fractional years, the year frac function is going to be your best and easiest bet now the one thing you'll probably want to do is like i said use a start date at least so you've got january 1 2000 and so you don't have to be keying in this value in here every time you just reference that cell and it's there and as far as the end date if you're looking at age i'm guessing that you're probably going to be wanting to look at the current date and for that, what you can use is the today function, open and close parentheses, and that's all you need to do. And now Excel will automatically calculate today's date and, and then put that into your, into your formula. So every time you open up Excel and you see your formula, it's uh, updated to reflect the fact that uh, Excel is already updated to reflect today's date because the today function automatically updates. There's no macros needed, no refreshing it'll automatically pull in the current current day's value. Now there's another formula that you can use if you want to calculate um, year, month, or day differences if you don't like these, these fractional years, and that is the date diff function. It doesn't show up when you search for the function, but it does exist, and the arguments are similar to the date frac formula where you enter in your starting date and the ending date again we'll use today and then there's another another argument where you can specify if you want to use a year month or day so if i wanted to calculate the number of years between i would use a y close that and it gives me a value of 22. now the downside of this is it doesn't round for me so it doesn't give me fractional years it just gives me whole numbers so if i go to switch to months same sort of thing, 272, 272 months. Now, if I use an end date of, let's say, January 31, 2022, instead of the today function, I just want to show you that one of the challenges with this is that, um, you know, it's not going to round to the next month. It's still 22, 22 years here in the number of months, so it hasn't rounded up until you actually get to you know, February 1st. So at that point, then it recognizes a 265th month. So until the month is fully complete, it is not going to um, update that. So that's just one thing to watch out for with, with uh, using this function is that it's not going to round for you. If you need something more specific, what you can do is use D for days. And now it'll give you the number of days. So now you've got 8,067 days between these two dates. And so from here, you could divide this into, in, into years or, or months if you wanted to. Um, again, you, you'd be looking at approximations, especially if you've got leap years in between here. Um, but obviously, if you've got the current year uh, starting point going to, to today, then you wouldn't have that issue, but it's just something to uh, uh, to keep in mind because if you're wanting to be really super specific, you just need to know the limitations of uh, of these functions. So if let's say someone was born on January 1st, 2000, you wanna calculate their age, what you may wanna do is something like this, where you calculate years and then days. 
right? So you could have the date diff function between the start date and end date, and then calculate years. So you know the person's 22 years, and then how many days old, you can use the date function, but instead of this as your start date, you know, if you use something like 1-1-2022, um, so that we were only looking at the start of the year, then you could have something like, you know, 22 years and 31 days. So you could do something like that, and then, you know, concatenate these within another function, say, person is X years old and 31 days, some of that effect. So if you didn't want to use the year frac and didn't want to use the decimals, this is one way that you could do this. And similarly, you could use the month function, but again, because it's not going to be as specific as the day function or as the day argument here, um, I, I, I'd suggest just using days because months, as you saw, is not going to necessarily be um, incrementing as, as as specifically or to the level that you might want if you want to get down to days. So the date diff function I'd say is most useful if you're looking at the number of days. Because if, if you want years, I suggest using the year frac approach and then you've got that remainder if you wanted to use it. I'll also briefly go over some other formulas um, that you can use. Specifically, there are uh, functions for hours, minutes, and seconds. So if you want to calculate the number of hours between two times, you can do that as well. The key thing is you just need to have that information in your date value. So for instance, here I, I don't have a time value, so I can add it just by adding a space and then let's say 1230 and then 45 seconds and add a PM indicator. And the one thing I'd probably want to do is change this format just so I've got a date with a time in there. So you may want to look for a format that works for you. So here we've got day, month, year, and then the time. Now, if this isn't exactly perfect, like this one doesn't have seconds and you can't find one that you want, you can flip over to the custom section. And in this case, I can add a colon and then S, S, or even just one S to get the, get the seconds in there. Now, if I hit OK, now I've got the date plus the time. And if I'm happy with that, I can click on the Format Painter and apply it to this value as well. And I'll also update this time to say, let's say, 6.45 and then 50 seconds p.m. So now I've got hours, minutes, and seconds in here. So I can now calculate um, the difference between those. So I can take the hour function and take the ending date subtract the start date and it's only going to look at the hours here so it's going to give me six hours again no rounding here if i want minutes use the minute function do the same thing end date minus the start date for the seconds you can use the second function and do the same thing and so you can see there that between 645 and 1230 that's a difference of six hours between 45 minutes and 30 minutes, that's the difference of 15 minutes. And if we're looking at seconds, we're looking at 50 seconds versus 45 seconds, so five seconds. So you're not getting, um, you know, the total seconds, total number of seconds between these two dates. You just look, it's just looking at the actual seconds value in each one of these. So just keep that in mind that it's not going to give you the total number of seconds from from start date to end date. It's, it's just going to look at that difference right there. If I change this to, let's say, 49, then the number of seconds changes to 4. So it's only looking at that one, at these two values, just the seconds in there. So these aren't functions I, I'd use if I were using it, wanting to calculate age. I'd suggest using the date diff function just because that's going to be a, a bit more useful because I'm assuming you're not going to be needing to calculate to specific seconds obviously with uh, functions excel has you're a bit limited just because of the rounding factor so it could be a bit challenging to try to get it exactly how you want but if you've got the day function in there or you're calculating the number of days then you can at least narrow down between months and 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 days and break that out as you need to so that's an overview of how you can calculate um calculate age and how it can calculate the difference between two dates in Excel.